Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a try on haul of all of these clothes that I bought at Shein and I will link the website down below. Basically, none of my clothes were fitting anymore. I am 17 and a half weeks pregnant today and I thankfully I started ordering in my first trimester because by the time that my second trimester rolled around, none of my clothes fit me. So this is my third pregnancy and I feel like my belly has gotten big really fast. Anyway, so today I'm gonna try on all of these clothes that I bought at Shein. You can give me your opinion if you like any of these clothes or if you think mm, that one's not a keeper, you should return that one. Let me know what you think. I will give you my honest opinion of all of these clothes. Obviously nothing on my channel is sponsored. It is just for fun and just things that I picked out. Um, I did pick out the, from the list of the most common things that are purchased in Shein Maternity. So all of these are like the top clothes. Um, by popularity. Some of them I've tried and I like and some are like mm, not so much and you'll see that in the video and so yeah let's just jump right in. Oh one other thing I wanted to mention I wanted to get clothes that are comfy that are like everyday type stuff because I work from home and I'm a mom and so these things are a very affordable and b I went for comfy and the kind of stuff that I can wear around the house while I'm momming and cleaning and working and doing all of those types of things. So anyway, if you are interested in seeing what I got for this pregnancy to wear, you can just keep watching. All right guys, jumping right in. This is the first outfit that I got. So this little top is, you can see it's kind of tied right here. It goes across. Um, it's very fitted around the belly and it has this cute little detailing on the sleeves. I think it's cute. It's a good little wrap shirt. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll let you know like down below the sizes that I got. I believe everything that I bought from Shein I got in a size large. So my usual size is a medium and during pregnancy I, I just wanted to have a little more room to be comfy so I got larges in pretty much everything. Um, this top is definitely tight. I think it's meant to be tight but I feel like this is not going to fit me so I'm only, um, 17, I'm about to be 18 weeks in a couple of days, and I feel like this shirt is not gonna fit me for much longer. Um, but it is super cute for now. I would size up if you're gonna get this one, either like one size or two sizes up. So I already sized up and it's pretty tight. And um, yeah, I don't feel like it's gonna fit for the whole pregnancy, but it is super cute for a second trimester look. So here's the first one. Um, the jeans I got at Old Navy, and yeah, they're cute. The only issue with these jeans is that it has a belly band and it, it kind of cuts off at like an awkward spot. So it leaves like a little line, but I guess that's kind of like part of maternity wear is like you're gonna have awkward lines, like whatever. So anyway, first outfit, I really like this one. I will definitely be keeping this one. Um, if you like this one, let me know down below. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right guys, this is the second top that I got and it's kind of like a little brown top. It's very, very flowy. It's got a ton of room, so I know that I will be able to keep this one all the way through the end of the pregnancy. I am giving birth hopefully in October, so um, I can wear this all throughout summer. It's got a ton of room. I really like the color. I feel like it's cute, but it doesn't wash you out, which is good. And yeah, it's just flowy, it's cute, it's great for every day, and it's got a ton of room. Now, I also feel like I could wear this with like a little jacket or a little cardigan, and it would work really well. Yeah, this one I think is definitely a keeper. That's what the back looks like. And the only thing I'd be concerned about is if the belly keeps getting bigger and bigger, which it will, I don't know if it'll be too short. But I don't think so. I think like I'm already massive and I don't know, yeah. I don't know, I'm definitely keeping this one. This is super cute. And I wonder, I mean, I think this wouldn't would even work if I wasn't pregnant, so I might be able to keep this one. Um, so anyway, this one is just a yes for me. All right, guys, this is the next top. I think this is my favorite top from the whole collection. Um, I, I really like it. I think it's so sweet and feminine. Um, it's got like a little ruching here. Now, if you have a bigger chest like I do, um, it might be a little small in the chest and it is definitely a little see-through. So, you know, you wanna wear something underneath. I feel like I could even wear like a skin colored, you know, undershirt or something and it would help. 
but I think this one is so cute and so feminine. It's got these little um, sleeves, puffy sleeves. It's got a square back, which I think is super, super cute. And um, the only thing with this one is that, like I said, I am only second trimester and I already sized up in this and I feel like it fits really well right now, but it's not gonna fit me in my third trimester. So it's cute for now and I will definitely rock it. And I think it was pretty cheap like all of these clothes. So even just for a couple of wears, I like it and I think it's good. And so, yes, I will be keeping this one, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna outgrow it really quickly, but that's okay. Like I've already worn this shirt a couple of times and with it only being probably like, I don't know, probably under $10, I don't remember. I will put all of that information in the description down below. I feel like I've already gotten enough wears out of this that it's worth it, so yeah. I like this one. Okay, this is the next one. It's this little shirt. It's got black on top, stripes down below, and it's got this little brown um, pocket, which I think is supposed to be like a, oh, I don't know. What's that material called? It's supposed to be like maybe like a faux leather type thing. I'm not sure. Um, I wore it yesterday, so I already have some schmutz on me from my kids. <laughs> um, but that just goes to show like this is the type of shirt that I would wear every day while I'm just like working and hanging out with my kids. So um, I've already worn this one a couple of times. I really like it. It fits really well. I can tell that I have a lot of room to grow in this one. And this one's a size large. I think it's supposed to be a little oversized. And that's good because I'm definitely gonna get a lot more months of wear out of this one. So yeah, definitely here's what the back looks like. Um, this is another one that I will keep. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this one is it's definitely very oversized. So I do have to wear either leggings or like a tighter jean with it. Otherwise I look kind of sloppy, but um, yeah, no, I like it. It's good, it fits, it's big. So if that's what you're going for, I don't know. Yeah, this is just really good for every day. I'm a fan. All right guys, here is the next one. Um, it is pretty similar to the color of the first one, but it's more of a t-shirt. It's really, really high up in the neck. So it would, I mean, for me, that's good when I'm momming and stuff, like nothing's going to be falling out. Um, it's also got this little detail down at the bottom of the bump, which kind of, you know, shapes the area and makes it a little more round. Um, so yeah, I like this one. I think it's cute. It is very, very high cut. So if that's not something you're into, probably um, don't go for this one. And then I've got it with these jeans. So these are definitely more like mom style jeans. They're a lot more like loose and baggy. And honestly, they're so much more comfy. Um, these are the types of jeans that I wear more day to day. So this is a perfect outfit for me to just like be working and, and doing dishes and stuff like that. And yeah, this is great. I feel like the quality is not the best, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of money on maternity clothes because I can only wear them for a few months anyway. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's good. Again, this one is a size large. I feel like there is room to grow into this and I'm gonna need it. <laughs> so yeah, this is another one where it's like, yeah, I like this. This is good, it's basic, it works. Okay, I am like fully obsessed with this next one. It needs to be ironed, but ignore that. Um, it is so cute. I feel like it's kind of like, is that like a Mexican style? It's gorgeous, whatever it is. It's embroidered. Um, it's really pretty. I can't believe I got this on Shein. Um, and it's very, it's got a lot of extra space. It's obviously a baby doll top. Um, I don't know, I think it's cute. It's got like a little keyhole button in the back, which is super, super cute. Um, obviously this is the type of top that you would have to literally iron if you want to wear it every time. Um, it's kind of a more thick fabric. So just keep that in mind if you're someone who would never iron, like this is not the type of top for you. But I don't know, I think this is gorgeous. I love this. I could wear it with jeans, I could wear it with shorts, and um, I could wear it with leggings. So I just think this is really cute. It's super comfy, it obviously has enough room that I can grow, and yeah. Yeah, man, so far, this whole Shein thing is going well. This is cute. I think I'll keep this one as well, like, yeah. 
All right, guys, this is the next shirt. Um, it says, it's really cute. It says mama and it has a little heart on it. Um, obviously I've got some schmutz, I swear. Like I can't go three seconds without getting just like my kids boogers or, or you know, whatever, yogurt on my shirt. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you are a mama too and you understand that life. Anyway, um, it is really high cut, just like the other t-shirt that I was looking at. It is really thin. It's like that soft t-shirt material. I am always looking for super soft t-shirts um, with the thin kind of like, um, what's it called? It's not like a solid blue. It's kind of, um, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember, but yeah, I don't know. I really like this. This is a great t-shirt. Again, the type of stuff that I would wear day to day. I like that it says mama. It's pretty clear um, that I'm pregnant <laughs> wearing this shirt. Um, I feel like it even makes my belly look bigger than, than it was, but that's okay. It's flattering. I think it's cute. It's, it's good with like a relaxed jean. And this is the type of thing that I could take my kids to the park in and just like do whatever. And I'm so comfortable. And this is the type of thing that I wear day to day all the time. So I like this and they have it in multiple colors. I would probably consider getting this in multiple colors because I think it's cute and it's flattering. And yeah, definitely liking this one. Okay, so my next purchase was these shorts. Um, they are actually pretty short, probably shorter than I would usually go with. And I feel like they're kind of going to slide up, um, which annoys me. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these. They do have the belly band that comes like all the way up, which I like. I really like to feel secure with my belly. Um, it's just comfy. Just my thing is that, oh, I don't know. They're, they're kind of short. I don't know. Um, tell me down below if you think these shorts are too short or if they look okay. I just feel like, I don't know. Is that, I don't know. They just look too short to me and I feel like it's going to annoy me. Like if my thighs can rub together when I'm walking because shorts are like coming way up, that's probably a no for me to be honest. And I'm not like the type that usually wears like the Bermuda shorts or anything. I just feel like another like, I don't know, inch or inch and a half on these shorts would be better. That's what the back looks like. It's got pockets. I don't know. They're, they're like really thin material. It's not good quality. I might return these. I don't know. Then again, they were super, super cheap, just like everything else. I guess, I don't know. They'll do, I don't know. This one gets like a solid five out of 10 for me. I'm, you know, meh, meh. If I'm just standing there, they're fine. If I'm walking around, it's not going to work. So yeah. Okay, guys, this next top, I think I like, I think I like it. I think it's really cute. I don't know. So it's got like a little scallop detail on the bottom, which I think is really cute. And then it's got that same scallop detail up top. Now, I don't know. Is it going to lay funny? Maybe I have to go. All right. Am I too lazy to go change my bra so that you can see it without the straps? Maybe I'll just tuck them in. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. I did the whole like tuck the straps in trick. Obviously, if I were to wear this, I would be wearing it with a strapless bra. But um, yeah, no, I think it's really cute. It's different. It's like a different cut. I don't know. Yeah, I think I like it. It's interesting. It's really thin, so it's good for summer. Here's the back. Yeah, no, I like that. I think that's cute. That is really cute. So yeah, I think I'll keep this one. I feel like I could wear it with shorts. I could wear it with jeans. Um, it's a good summer top. Now, obviously you have to wear uh, um, either like a bra that has a weird neckline or a strapless bra. And I don't love wearing strapless bras. Like I just feel like I've got enough going on up here that they just like, I feel like I'm always tugging on them. But for a cute top every once in a while, it's probably worth it. So yeah, I think I will keep this one. Yeah, it's cute. All right, guys, this is the next one. It's a little romper. Honestly, I love me a romper on a pregnant woman. I think they're super cute. Um, so here's what it looks like in from the back. Um, I feel like rompers sometimes from the back can look really bad, but this one's not terrible. And it has like a little tie right here. It's a faux tie. So there's that. Um, obviously I wouldn't wear it with this bra, but I think it's cute. I think it's a cute look. Um, I would definitely 
probably add some type of um, something like this to it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like it's good for the summer. I don't know. I feel like if I had it just like this, like that feels kind of exposed to me, but I'm, I don't know. I just, yeah, I, I definitely like it with the little thing. Like how cute. Look at that bump. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, no, I like this one. I think it's cute. With or without, it's going to be good because I know I'm going to be super hot this summer and I'm just not going to care anymore. So, yeah, I like this one and I do think I will keep it. Man, we're like almost everything I've wanted to keep so far. So, yay. Um, obviously, it's not the thickest material. Like none of this material is the best quality. So it's just not. This one's more kind of like a linen type material. I'm sure it's not like real linen, but... It feels fine. Um, it's a little bit see-through, but not super see-through. Obviously I have a black bra and you can tell, but I could wear a better bra for this outfit and it would be fine. So yeah, I think, yes, this is a keeper. Okay, so this one came as a set. It's this little pencil skirt, which I think is cute. Um, you can definitely see panty lines. It's thin material, so um, take that how you will. But it also came with this little shirt and I'm not, it's kind of like a cropped shirt, but it comes at like a weird spot on the belly. I just don't know about the shirt. Like, are you supposed to tuck it in? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I feel like that's better than just letting it hang. Um, but anyway, I feel like, yeah. I love like a good striped skirt or anything, like shirt, anything on a bump. I think they're super cute. It really like shows off the bump. I just, I don't know about this shirt though. Maybe, I don't know. I have to figure this one out. And this is another one where I feel like I could throw on a cardigan and, or like a little jean jacket or something and it would be cute. You could wear it, you know, around the house doing whatever. Obviously it's super comfy, it's super stretchy. I can do all the things and um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not super sure about the shirt, but I don't know, we'll see. I like the skirt, I think it's cute. I can probably make this work. Okay, this one, <laughs> I don't know if everyone's gonna be able to get with this, but it has like little daisies or, or something like that. I think it's super, super cute, here it is. Um, it's just like, I don't know if you would call it a bodycon dress because it's got a little bit of space. Um, again, I ordered a large in this, so it's got like a little bit of room to grow. It's not like super, super clingy. Um, usually in dresses like this, again, I would wear like maybe a little jean jacket or something, but it's got like a little bow detail. Obviously this is not the best bra again for this. And then it kind of cinches in right here. Um, I feel like the chest area is a little bit small compared to like, the size of everything else. The chest is like the only place where I feel like it's not, per it doesn't fit perfectly for me. Um, but I have a bigger chest, so there's that. And yeah, no, I think this is super cute, super sweet. And again, thin, perfect for summer and has a lot more room. I know it's gonna get shorter and shorter as the bump grows, but this will definitely work for summer. It'll be thin and light and I can always throw on like a little jean jacket if we're going out to like ice cream or something with the family. So yes, I feel like this is another yes for me. This is cute. All right guys, here's the next one. It's a little um, striped. Again, it's like a bodycon type dress. Um, it's got a little bit of like ruching on the side so it's good for maternity. It's got this back with the little cross which I think is cute. Again, I would have to wear a strapless bra with this, which is not always the most wonderful thing for me. Um, you know, situation-wise, don't love it. Or, like I said, little jean jacket. Let me grab one. So yeah, throw a little jean jacket over it. I feel like it's even cuter. I don't know. I just, I'm not like a big fan of being super exposed. Um, but I feel like that's cute and good for going out and just like doing whatever and still looking cute and obviously, 
obviously very pregnant. So, and I know that this one will keep growing because it has a lot of like space down here. So the bump is just gonna keep getting bigger and this will work for sure. So yeah, I think I'll keep this one as well. I don't know. Yeah, why not? It was cheap, like, yeah. All right guys, here's the next one. It's just this little green dress. It's super, super simple. It's got these little um, kind of brown and cream buttons down the middle and I was wearing this the other day and my mom said that I look like a cute little snowman and I was like okay I kind of love that um again it's like thin material so your undies might show but this is one where like the other day I threw on this little um thing with it and there you go you're more covered but you're still super cute you still look like a snowman and I don't know, yeah, I like this. It's very springy, I like the color. It's like the sagey green color. And yes, cute. I will definitely wear this. It works, it's cheap, it looks good. I'm a fan and it's thin. It's like very thin material, so it's good for summer. I will stay cool in this. And yeah, I think I will be keeping this one. Okay guys, I might have lied. This might be my favorite. I feel like this dress is so pretty and feminine. I can't believe I found it on Shein, my gosh. Um, and yeah, it's just got these little ruffles and I think that's super cute. It ties up at the shoulders, which again, super, super pretty, super cute, super feminine. Um, I think you can definitely tell that there's a bump there, but it's not if you're one who likes more flowy stuff and you don't like the super fitted look, like this would look great. I have already worn this three times this summer and I feel like I will keep wearing it just because anytime we have to go somewhere where you need to look like a little nicer, this is great. It could even be for like maternity pictures or whatever. This was such a win and I can't believe I got this on Shein. It's like the best. So yeah, this one is a 10 for me. Okay, um, these were two separate things. Um, this little top just is the same kind of idea as the other one where it has the little scalloped edges, which I guess I was feeling <laughs> this summer. I think that's cute. That's what the back looks like. And then I have these little paper bag shorts, which are very similar to that little romper that I was wearing earlier. I don't know why I got like two things that are so similar. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure if I love this or if I feel like a pumpkin. No, I think I like it. I don't know, tell me down below, do you like this one? I'm not sure, like it's cute, it's got a little tie, it's very like paper baggy. I don't know, yeah. I guess I could see myself wearing it. It's obviously very comfy, I'm like I can move around in it and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know down below if you like this one. Okay, same top here, different shorts. So these little green shorts, um, again, like I don't know if I'm liking the over the bump style of shorts, I guess. Like they're cute because they have little ruffles, but does that make them look like jammy shorts? And I don't know. I think I like, I don't know. I'm just not sure if I like the over the bump look. Maybe I'm just not pregnant enough. And once the bump is even bigger, then it'll look, cause like, I'm not sure that you would be able to tell that I'm as pregnant as I am. I don't know. But I mean, I do love a ruffle on pretty much anything. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just wear these around the house. I mean, obviously again, super comfortable. I just, I don't know. Here's what the back looks like. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm not sure. This is another one where I'm like, I don't know. I would probably wear it because they're comfy, but I just don't know if I could bring myself to like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. These ones are just okay, but they do have a ruffle, so like that puts them a little more solidly in the, you know, probably I'll keep them category. I don't know, you let me know what you think about these green shorts. All right, guys, this last one, like I bought because of peer pressure. Like this is, I feel like all of the kids are wearing these, like coming back from the 90s. And I feel like maybe I'm just too old to be wearing something like this. 
I mean, I could see myself wearing it as pajamas, but it's obviously like, again, I got it in a size large. It's obviously oversized, like way oversized, but I think that's the idea, I guess. I don't know. And then all of the kids are wearing these like black, like biker type shorts. And again, I feel like they're, they're like oversized. They're too big. I don't know. Maybe as I get bigger in the pregnancy, but like, there's just like so much um, extra material. I don't know what's going on. Then again, like I'm super comfy. I could definitely see myself like taking the kids to the park wearing this. I just feel kind of schlubby, you know? Is that the idea? I guess I don't know. People who are in your teens and 20s, like, what are your thoughts? Is this what this is supposed to look like? Do I look hip? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I feel like myself in the 90s would have worn this, but I was like a child, so I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm just too old. I don't know what's happening. This feels like a bummer of one to like leave you off on, but this is the end. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Again, everything will be linked down below if you're interested in buying any of these pieces. They're all super cheap and um, I'll probably keep most of the stuff that I bought just because it works for this summer and yeah, and they're comfy and you know, most of them are cute. I, there might be a couple of returns, but anyway, um, again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to follow my pregnancy journey and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.